In this video, I scripted the most satisfying scripts, like this house, which is about to fall into its doom. All right, let's try dropping this from a little bit higher distance. All right. Wow, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, let's try going even higher. How much do you think? Okay, let's try higher, 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 higher. <laughs> I see this one part which is still moving. <laughs> I finally stopped. How about we go even higher? I'm going to take this thing all the way as high as we possibly can. How about we'll go all the way up to here. Ready? This is going to be awesome. Ready? One, two, three, go. Coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh my god. That's awesome. All right, so another cool thing that we can do is we can actually change the gravity. So you can see under workspace, there's something called gravity and it's set to 196.2. What if I set this to something smaller, like let's say 50. So I set gravity to 50. Since we made the gravity smaller, this part is actually going to fall slower. And the cool thing is that when this part falls, all of the parts are also going to follow the physics laws. As you can see, this thing is following the low gravity. All right, well, for, you know, just for experiment's sake, why don't we make the gravity really high and then watch this thing fall right to its doom catastrophically. So I'm just going to change the gravity from 50 to, let's try 500. <laughs> One, two, three. God, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, and let's try one more. Let's try 5,000 as the gravity. So this is going to like literally just fall. It's going to crash down. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. You thought a house was cool? I'm going to make it happen to a city. Ready? We're going to make this city literally fall from the sky. <laughs> let's see what happens. Ready? All right, here we go. Oh, my entire studio is lagging, but... This thing is falling so ever so slowly. Oh my gosh. Let's see what happens. All right. So the next thing is I'm going to turn this part into a cool little satisfying blob. And then I'm going to go script it. And then I'll come back and I'll see you there. All right, guys. So this is the first iteration of the blob so far. It's pretty basic. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it change color and then change size. And then let's see how it looks. All right, here's Blobby. So behind the scenes, this uses something called tween service, which allows this thing to have this smooth little animation. Tween service is pretty cool because you can see that I can also make him rotate around at random angles. And let's actually see if we can make this thing glow. All right, now he's glowing and also rotating. And this is pretty cool. I've added a little point light here. And it's pretty satisfying just to watch this little animation. Now, actually, I'm kind of curious. What if I added like a whole bunch of these guys? Let's see how cool it would look. It would look like a little disco party. All right, now I've added tons and tons of these blobs. This is going to look so satisfying. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my God, they all went. What? Oh, they, they all just went together. All these blobs just kind of uh, combined together and just merged into this one little circle okay let me fix that this is this is actually a bug but uh technically it's a feature now <laughs> all right all right i think i fixed it now ready this is gonna look so cool ready one two three <laughs> you can see all of these blobs just rotating and changing their lights and it looks pretty cool All right, don't mind me. I'm just preparing for the next one. I hope you can tell what I'm about to do. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. Ready? Okay, nice. We got one domino to fall down. And now... All right, let's try this with five. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> okay. All right, so I just coded it such that each domino requires the previous one to fall and touch it before it starts falling. So let's actually see if this works. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice, nice. That looks pretty good. All right, hopefully you guys don't call me too crazy for this, but... <laughs> that was Domino's with Roblox physics. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so I just made it a little bit better. So now they're spaced a little bit more closely together and they're all random. All right, so that was 100 dominoes. And now we're gonna try 500. I can't believe that worked! Alright, so I really just want to push this to its limits. So let's see what I came up with. Ready? One, two, three. And now it's literally like a wave pattern. And... Oh my god, I can't believe it's working! <laughs> I literally cannot believe that that just worked perfectly fine with Roblox's physics. All right, that's it for this video. If you want more satisfying scripts, please let me know. And if you want a part two of this domino thing, let me know and make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.